in the remote village of Drukop in Limpopo province in the northeastern region of South Africa. An innovative pilot project on gender and AIDS awareness has been set up. The project is gaining momentum, making inroads into what has largely been an inaccessible domain, that of the traditions and culture of rural women. These women are the heart and conscience of their community. Through their education and participation, the project seeks to bring about lasting changes in community attitudes and behavior. The project is called IMAGE. IMAGE stands for the Intervention with Microfinance for AIDS and Gender Equity. It centers on the premise that we need to start looking at broader approaches to HIV prevention. The information campaigns are only convincing the older Dr. People. Julia Kim is a founder member of IMAGE and has worked on the project for the past five years. After an initial study on HIV infection in remote communities, some of the most disadvantaged in the country, the South African Department of Health encouraged the project to find new ways to improve AIDS awareness amongst rural women. You find that a lot of the approaches are very biomedical. They focus primarily on things like vaccines, medications, uh, very technical solutions to the problems. But if you speak to people in South Africa and you look at why the HIV epidemic has taken off in the way that it has, it has much more to do with social c conditions, um, poverty for one thing, economic inequalities within the country, gender inequalities. Research indicates that fear of violence limits women in making safer sexual decisions. In addition, tribal norms in more traditional rural communities often reinforce inequality between men and women. Thus, an effective campaign needs to address directly the women who uphold these traditions. They are most at risk and they are also teachers of their communities. Microfinance has been found to be an empowering experience for women. In many of these places, it's the first chance that women have had to uh, begin earning their own money and to be bringing that into the household. That in turn can change their relationships with their husband, the way they're perceived by their families and their communities. Self's aim was to empower the poorest women of any area. The same target group for Raiders AIDS Awareness and Gender Equity Campaign. So Raider, together with the University of Wettwaterstrand, the London School of Tropical Medicine, and Ahsanan Domestic Abuse Prevention and Training, devised a 10-part program running for a year to coincide with self loan operations in the pilot area at Drikop. Specially trained facilitators run the pilot program. They guide the women in challenging discussions on gender equality, cultural beliefs, body functioning, sexuality, relationships, domestic violence, and the more conventional HIV preventative information. <laughs> That is why we have to be able to do this. We have to why is a play motor play we grew up in the Drukop area. Uh, we just want women to start supporting each other in terms of gender violence and see that if one woman is called a kwababan, that means lenneke kwababan. And what happens to that woman can also happen to me. And so that is why we keep on bringing in the issue of rape because it's the thing now. And everybody keeps saying it's a problem. But the first thing you ask them, what happens to a girl who wears short skirts? And they're, ah, she gets raped. What's the difference between her and the old and the older woman who wears a long dress would also be who would also be raped. So if you bring certain issues like that, uh, it's just about the fact that that person who gets raped as a woman, and if she can be raped, it means that you can also be raped. So that is what we're trying to bring up. That it's more important to support what she is, which is a woman. The image pilot project is slowly breaking down these stigmas and cultural resistance to ideas around AIDS and gender equality. 
The women meet every two weeks for a one-hour session and discussion. This is followed by the self-loan repayment meeting, where the books are balanced, fortnightly repayments on loans made, and further financing extended as needed. This piggybacking of agendas initially met with resistance from the women, but in the 18 months the IMAGE project has been running, there has been a change of attitude. These women have a second-hand clothing business, funded with a microloan from SEF. They say they feel empowered by the image sessions and their ability to generate their own income. So by combining this microfinance, um, this income generation, this empowerment strategy with gender and HIV training, we're hoping to make an impact on, on women's ability to negotiate for safer sex. We're also hoping that it will translate into better communications in the household, intergenerational conversations around HIV AIDS. The Image Pilot Project plans to expand its operations by identifying and further training natural leaders from the sessions to influence and teach their communities. Uh, with the training, um, we're hoping that it, the women will see that Maybe not completely change culture, but adjust certain tunes. Yep. The project has monitoring systems in place at individual, household and community levels. And feedback from the women participating in the program so far is encouraging. The IMAGE project is set to expand its innovative approach to dealing with AIDS and gender inequality in rural areas. The challenges may seem enormous, but as the project takes root, the changes, although tiny, are already beginning to show.